what's up everyone, this is Asian K, uh, playing Greta for all Sandra's time mission. Today get a mission made by uh, Jimmy Night Park. And the title mission is Insidious Adversary, which is his uh, 11th mission of uh, his uh, Sweet Squad series. So yeah, we're wasting for a turn, I'm going to attack this mission and start things for now. Two hours later, somewhere in Los Santos. So, since we got the diamond and handled it shot so easily, how do we gonna go after these remaining three charms from this team, from his team? I read the files Galacher sent us about them during their few days. I got a plan. We're gonna ambush them one by one in a specific order. And that will be Galacher Market Brian Hendricks as their leader. So we're gonna deal with him last. Wait, last wouldn't be a tactical uh, mistake? If he's a leader, then he's the head of the snake. You cut the snake head to kill it. Hmm. This isn't politics or sport. You have to think a little bit differently for this. They are a small group. Killing their leader first will be a tactical mistake here. If we cure their leader first, then the rest will crawl deep into the holes and they won't come out. And that would desperately decrease our chance to finishing the job in two days. And that's the deadline Galatrier gave us. I want to make this easy. Galatrier described it that Hendrix guy as reckless and a bit of a hothead. There's no need to attack such a weak leader first and scare off the whole herd. There's something that makes them feel safe around him even when there's trouble. I don't want to disrupt that illusion because obviously they haven't faced the real trouble before. Trouble like us. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna go after Jerome's JT Jeff Thompson first. He's the hacker of the group. He lives in Canton, a house just next to the Ten Green Spotted Bar. If he's a hacker, then it's safe to say he's not a gun person. We'll send one guy to his house tonight. Then one should be enough to handle him. Send two, just in case. I realize he doesn't even know we're coming after him and all, but still. You got it. Two it is. Then when we take care of him, I'm sure the leader will want revenge. Child plays for us. Meanwhile, it's in Nate's house. Box label righty LV project. Bang! Hey Nate, I brought you that thing you asked me for. It's in your garage. Thanks, I got good news. I found a lot of the stuff about the Lance Jones guy. And what are we dealing with? Well, among other things, I found out that this Lance Jones is wanted to Liberty City for two organized bank robberies back in 2017. He and his three accomplices managed to steal almost $5 million in total. But two of them have been caught while Lance and his third body, Oscar Levis, escaped. Here's where it gets more interesting. Two guys who got caught ratted Lance and Oscar out of the police in exchange for a reduced sentence. And guess what? The same day they got in prison, both of them got killed. Since you say that Lance's Oscar paid someone to kill them before raiding, ratting them off. By the time those guys got killed, Lance and Oscar were already safely out of LC. So I went a little bit deeper, reached out to some of my connection for some more info. I found out that Lance and Oscar came here right after they had to flee from LC. So it's not like they came here yesterday. They've been 
here for two years now. And during these two years, they weren't exactly sleeping. They got into arms dealing, nothing too big, nothing too fancy though, however. I've been warning that their crew is a lot bigger now, so they got the numbers. <laughs> and some other groups in the past also had the numbers against us. What I can understand is how did Donnie get caught, get contact with a guy like Lance Jones. I've been keeping an, my eye on Brian and his team for the past year. So obviously I've been keeping an, my eye on Donnie too. And I know he's not a guy who call, who could acquire a friend like Lance Jones by himself. That leads me to believe that someone else introduced them to each other. And that had to have happened recently too because both Donnie and Lance were at the, their meaning cause of the diamond, that's for sure. Did you talk to Brian or the rest of the team about all of this? Not yet. I've been busy with finding Lance's address here in Los Santos. But since I cannot find it, it means it's registered under a different name. And it will take a while until I find out his alias. Shit. Luckily, Lance Paul Oscar is not as smart. Oscar likes his name so much that he decided to keep it after flee Liberty City. And that's okay because Los Santos has no extradition treaty with Liberty City. So while he's safe from the cops trying to catch him and send him back to Liberty City, he's not safe from me. Hmm. So you got his address? Of course I did, easily, but I wanted to get Lance's address too before contacting you guys, but since it will take more time than I expected, I should call Brian and tell him to gather his team to come here so I can brief them about all of this. Call Ricky to come too, after I brief them about all about this. You guys will go to Oscar's address and try to find Lance through him. I'll work on finding Lance's address on my way. In my on my way, we'll see about who has more luck. You got it. To be continued, which means that's pretty much the end of missions. Day two now is going to play another mission very soon. All right, time to play a mission made by uh, Jimmy Lampard. And the title mission is Bat to the Bone, which is his uh, 12th mission of his uh, Sweep Squad series. So, yeah, without wasting further time, we like this mission and start mission now. About 45 minutes later, in Nate's house. So, where does this Oscar Levis live? Las Colinas. The exact address is on the table now. Don't kill him before he gives us. He gives you Lance's address, all right? Here's our fastest way to getting to Lance. So make him talk. Brian, Ross, and JT, you guys go in. Billy, Ricky will stay outside as backup. I show you how that guy looks like. You should be able to identify him easily. All right, let's go. Good luck. See you at the location, guys. <clears throat> Get in your car with Ross and JT. You know what? This motherfucker Oscar Lemon is better say where Joan is. I like to see him try to keep his mouth shut in front of me, homie. I really do. The moment I feel that he's stalling and bullshitting, I'm gonna rip his fucking tongue out. That he won't be able to speak. Don't forget, cop might kill a punk. We're all mad, but you're gonna chill, homie. You're gonna talk if you rip his tongue out. Of course. See? Well, guess what? Then he's gonna take a pen, write shit down. You feel me? 
You crazy man, tell him, Brian. Tell him what? I agree with him, man. Like you tell him Brian for you, man. What is it pain? I'm sick of all the bullshit too. That guy will talk one way or the other. Damn straight, my nigga. You all crazy. Proceed toward Oscar Lewis house. So it seems that the, our heroes gonna go at his house first before that uh, Lance Johns try to kill like uh, all the members here. Well, kind of makes sense. I mean, not because they are heroes, but because uh, you know, Foil is a smart guy. You know, like uh, when the you know when like uh, to take priorities quickly than the others. right here. Tring. Hello, it's Ricky. We're on the hill behind Oscar's house. Come to us. We're coming. Beep. Ricky and Billy are waiting for you nearby. Go to them. Wow. Dude, there's no security cameras at the Oscar's house. Oh yeah, that's right. It's not that smart. So, how y'all wanna do this shit? Just let's pass this door and drag him out of the house? Bad idea. Man, just shut up, homie. Y'all just back up anyway. Let the big dogs handle this. I'm gonna smack him. Smack me, then. C nigga, come on. I love you, shut the fuck up. I got a plan. Since we don't know if he's alone or if there's someone with him, we'll test it out. How? Leave that to me. Stay here. Oh shit, he was gonna be like a, a Rambo guy here. Blow up Oscar car. Get back to your team before someone exit the house. How long did it take you to come with that plan? Five seconds? Yeah. That's what it looks like. Shh, watch this. You still think that your plan would be a better idea, Ross? Nice move, but I don't see our guy anywhere. Well, there's two of them. Three of them. Never mind. There we, here, there we go, we could take his gun first and then immobilize him. Hey! I see them! Fuck! Let's go. Take out Oscar Goons with protecting his house. They coming towards us? Yo, come on guys! I'm gonna get closer. Closer. There you go. Gonna get closer. Much more closer. Still need to be careful though. Being Ricky kept watch out there, out here. You guys go inside and get Oscar. Break into Oscar house. Next time harder. Uh, okay. 
Ah uh, shit, I don't know if I can survive with that amount of health. A few moments earlier in Oscar's house. Drrring. Bang, 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 bang. Yeah, someone's shooting up my place. You need to send Rince for Rince here as soon as possible. What, who? I don't know. It's not one guy. There's at least three of them out there. Sound of front door getting busted open. They're inside. Beep. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's... Oh, shit. Oscar Lewis, what's up, nigga? We scare you? Well, he should be scared, homie. Hey, look. I don't have the diamond. All right? What? How do you know he we're here for the diamond? Ugh. Yeah, he's not smart. He's just saying anything. He asked it for a question, motherfucker. <laughs> ah! 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 All right, that's enough. He's injured. You know who we are? Think before you decide what to say, motherfucker. Yeah. Donnie Shells, crew. How do you know who we are? And how do you know Donnie? I cannot say. Nigga, what? I gotta smoke your ass, right? Hey, relax. Put the gun down. Where's the diamond, Oscar? My boss has it. Brock Lance Johns? Yeah. Okay, where is he? He doesn't want to say. Drrrring. Uh oh. Hello, it's Billy. Cops are coming. We can hear them in the distance. Okay, so we have to get out of here. Shit. By the way, Oscar doesn't have the diamond. What a surprise. He said John does, but he doesn't want to tell us where he is. Look, me and Ricky are going back to Nate's house. You need to get the fuck out of there, too. Take Oscar with you. Go somewhere safe and make him tell you where John is, then call us. Beep. Cops are coming. We're gonna get out of here. And we're taking him with us. Let's go. Are you sure? To be continued. He's not going to backstab us. Anyways, that's pretty much the end of the mission. Thank you for watching. See you next time, guys.